anywhere between two to $3 million, our busiest time of year, where we have about 10,000 guests a day visiting the museum. That's a fraction of the people visiting the campus each day. Talk to me a little bit about, um, I've read that the NASCAR race taking place in Grant Park this summer is really going to impact the Shedd Aquarium. Can you tell us a little bit more about that situation? Sure. Let me start by saying that Shedd Aquarium understands as much as anyone, maybe more than most, how important it is for the profile of the city, for tourism to continue to look at out of the box opportunities to bring the city top of mind. And we are an active player in the tourism space and um, thrilled to continue to be a booster of the city through all of our efforts. We are currently looking forward to conversations where we might think through how the logistics of the NASCAR race might be mitigated to improve the guest experience, to assure access to museum campus, to our aquarium, as well as to Northerly Island, the lakefront, and the other um, museums on our campus. Right. And and so looking at that and uh, looking at, you know, the closures that are going to happen in Grant Park this summer, how could they possibly impact or potentially impact the, you know, the shed? And, and what, what do you estimate kind of like the losses to to be? From that. Sure, sure. We are we are still looking for 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 a logistics plan that helps us center in on what the actual impact will be. At that time of year, it's our busiest time of year where we have about 10,000 guests a day visiting the museum. That's a fraction of the people visiting the campus each day. And we're usually kind of at peak capacity already during those holiday weekends. And so we are We've never seen a closure that includes both Lakeshore Drive and Columbus and Roosevelt and parts of Michigan Avenue. And so we are eager to move towards solution-based conversations. Um, our fear is that the access to the campus, which we already know is limited, can become cut off during that period, which could potentially lead us to close for part of the race weekend. Yeah, and if that were to happen, um, what would be the estimated amount of money that you would think you, you know, Shed Aquarium could potentially lose in that? Absolutely, our current estimate over, probably over about 10 days because of the setup and the takedown is anywhere between two to $3 million. Again, there are solutions we can put in place that would probably mitigate that, um, but we know that the the days of the race will be the biggest impacts, but even when Lollapalooza closes Columbus Avenue, for instance, we see about a 30% a day impact to the aquarium, about $100,000. So that's really what's fed our expectations of what we think the impact could be to the aquarium. Right. Well, any other, I know, like you mentioned, um, other events that take place during Grand, uh, in Grand Park during the summer. Do you guys expect any other events to also impact uh, besides the race, maybe potentially, you know, uh, impact uh, shed? Sure, we certainly see a lesser impact during Lollapalooza. Um, like I said, about a 30% change in the attendance due to, you know, crowding and traffic and perceptions of congestion downtown. Um, that's probably the biggest impact. It's the closest to us, um, but we always watch big events downtown. We watch things like Bears games and things like that. The um, the logistics of this race are more complex than anything we've seen, which is which is where we're certainly looking at both our everyday attendance as well as likely a one week impact to our summer camps. Right. Which. Yeah. And, and talking about logistics, have you heard anything from either NASCAR or the Grand Park team in terms of what the logistics are for the planned closures? We've certainly had conversations. They've, you know, they've communicated with us. My understanding is they're still working through logistical plans. Um, as I said, we've, you know, we've been eager to have conversations that move from sharing information into conversations that might focus on those logistics, the things that we're worried might cause the most risk to access to campus. I've been assured that those will happen. They haven't happened yet. Um, but we look forward to participating in those discussions. Absolutely. Yeah, because you guys obviously also need to know from your part on how you are going to plan around the closures, correct? Absolutely correct.
Yeah. What do you hope uh, happens, you know, to prevent, you know, these major losses that we're not, you know, pr predicting if things were to come to that, you know, uh, hopefully not. But what would you hope happens? Here? I hope that we can minimize the number of roads that are adjacent to each other that close for any period of time. I'm hoping we can trim the number of roads, lane closures, all of those types of things to think through public transportation solutions because those routes will be disrupted as well, I'm assuming. Again, that's my guess. Um, and a continued conversation about um, how might we make this as, um, as logistically tight as possible. Absolutely, yeah. Have you heard from any Shed Aquarium guests on, on anything like this of closures or such or, you know, what their plans I'm are? Not that I'm aware of yet. They tend to plan closer to the date, but right. we're, we're getting closer to a window that people are starting to think about their summer vacation. Yeah, <laughs> especially with the change in weather and everything. Yeah. Um, people are starting to think, okay, what are we going to go do this summer, mm -hmm. right? Um, do you have any um, message for uh, Shed Aquarium guests for the upcoming Shed Aquarium summer plans that they might have? Yeah, I certainly hope they come visit. We have um, over the next month is the last chance to see underwater beauty. We are continuing to focus on providing a great experience and we will do everything we can to work with our partners at the city and at NASCAR to make our experience this summer as good as it can be. And we just ask them to continue to support us. We appreciate it and their dollars go to support to support the animals and support conservation.